opinion. Y'all the most complaining. All right, y'all. Come on, Virgo. Let's see what you got going on. Y'all told me to just go on, jump on in there. Don't rush me, baby. Don't rush me. The spirit moves me, and I move how the spirit wants me to move. Ooh, somebody want to take a leap of faith, and they scared with their eight of swords. Somebody bound by mental and principle, or they bound by their circumstances. Somebody feels bound because they ain't seeing something clearly. Now, for some of y'all, to keep it in vain. Somebody may be trying to do root work on your eyesight. That's why your ears blind. <laughs> You might be doing root work on your eyesight. Some of y'all may have gotten to a little altercation and police may have pepper sprayed your ass. Some of y'all eyes may be still a little burning from it or something like that. You, know, you probably did that to me on those incense. Right? <laughs> but whoever this is, somebody's eyes may be, the eyesight may be fucked up. That was where you could have gotten to an altercation or something like that. Doing somebody probably sprayed you with some pepper spray or something like that. Doing. Some of y'all got mace. That doesn't make sense. Some of y'all got mace. Wow. Some of y'all got mace. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the fact that you got mace. I'm not laughing at the fact that you got mace. Did you like not? Nah. Okay. All right, okay, I'm back. All right, we got the perspective. <laughs> My girls, I promise I'm not laughing at y'all. <laughs> I promise I'm not. I promise you I'm not. Something like that. Let me try. All right. <laughs> okay, I think I'm back. All right. Now, we got the Seven of Cups. We also got the Two of Pentacles. We also got the Queen of Swords. And we also got the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Some of y'all got decisions that it is that you need to make though as well, but some of y'all can be confused when it comes down to the things that it is that you need to do at this point in time because you kind of like, do I go with the left or do I go with the right? Do I go in the area to where I feel like what's best for me or do I go what's being called to me again? Because you also got the high priestess here and also the seven of cups. Now again, some of y'all may got many options and stuff like that though as well, but this is your work, your career, your love, whatever fuck it is. Y'all got different ways that y'all see certain shit. So, again, it's kind of like you probably may have to get sober so you can see something clear or you may have to get some state of sound mind where you can ground yourself because it ain't no root chakra cards coming up here. This ain't nothing but air, fire, air, fire, right? And so you could be at this point though as well to where you could be in a very dreamy state when it comes down to a lot of situations though as well. So, again, a lot of things that you say may not make sense or somebody may not make sense. Or, um, like a lot of things somebody say may not make sense to you, or you may not make sense of a lot of things right now, though, as well. So, you and this, like, go with the flow and just let whatever happens at this same time, though, as well. So, you just go along with the going along at this same time, though, as well. Like, I don't think somebody's trying to be a buzzkill, but at the same time, though, is there some type of responsibility that is required when it comes down to making some type of a decision, though, as well? Because somebody Um, somebody wants to know something or you need to know something when it comes down to a new direction though as well. This could be relocating or this got something to do with your job. Now, for some of y'all, this could be about certain things that it is that you choose to do with your life at this same time though as well. I just keep getting that though as well. Some of y'all just keep it being. Some of y'all want to be one of the type of people where you get like a window go and pack up and travel. Like some of y'all want to be a decked out tour bus or a window go. Like I really do. Like, I really think about that a lot of times. I said, why the fuck I didn't get one of them though as well, right? And I could have lived like that. Not on the road, but if I want to pack up and leave and I just want to sink on the road, right? I said that a lot of times. So some of y'all may be in the energy though as well. Because it's a direction. Some of y'all may be having car problems too, so we're going to slow down. Some of y'all may be having problems with your car before we even get started though as well. God damn. But if you ain't having problems with your car though as well, it's the direction that it is that you want to go. Something has gone around full circle or like if you got a lot of notches on your belt or you traveled or you got a whole 
a lot of things that's going on in your passport and stuff like that, though, as well. At this point in time, you like you may be feeling some state of friction coming from the universe, though, as well. Because again, this is like stabilizing energy. I'm telling you, you don't really have that many earth cards. Like, I'm just gonna keep it a bang, you guys. Arcana, water, swords, and then you got a pinnacle. Then we flip that bitch on this side over here. And we check fire, air, pinnacle, water, arcana, fire. Look at that. It's water. So again, you really don't have a lot of pentacles. I'm just going to keep it being like somebody's too much in their head. Gonna be honest. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or how that works for you though. With me. But it's kind of it requires you at this point in time where you got some shit that you need to do. I'm saying I don't know if this is like how you see life or getting rejuvenated or getting a fresh start though, as well. This could be getting some glasses. I'm gonna just be a bean. Keep it a bean. Some of y'all just probably maybe getting some glasses. Um, just maybe some sex. I'm just keep it honest. Like some of y'all may have had sex with somebody and your life may have changed. I'm gonna just keep it honest. Like somebody may have had a little bit, you know, a little ooh na na. Somebody's life may have changed for the best. Some of y'all may have changed for the worse. Some of y'all may be a little delusional. But you keep it being. So I ain't gonna snatch you down, but I might. All right. Now, the first card out, we got perspective, though, as well. I do kind of feel like whatever you're doing at this same time, though, as well, this goes back to the decision that you don't want to make, though, as well. This is where you feel like if anything that's trying to tie you down or be in some state of an obligation, you feel like this is boring and when it comes down to handling some form of responsibilities because some of y'all are trying to run away from a lot of problems and stuff like that, though, as well. <clears throat> And spirit trying to get you to see something though as well. It may got something to do with your productive issues or somebody may be considering somebody lazy or something like that though as well. Or this is something like this. It's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But at the same time, it's kind of broke. Because again, it's not, it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because if it works, it works for you. But for some of y'all though as well, it's kind of like at this same time, like you struggling to do something different. But at the same time though, it's kind of like, this is something that could be like, like this may be something that's kind of holding you up at this same time though as well now it may be something that's kind of holding you up from being able to move forward though as well like the trajectory market whatever the fuck that means right now let's speed past that now the flip side here though as well there is a little bit of using blackmail friendships um and how you what you get in is what you get out now, this is where something may get caught up on, though, as well, because when it comes down to a narrative in a state of relationship, you and somebody broke up, and whoever this is, somebody could be at the point where they do not want to come down when it comes down from their state of perspective. You may got somebody that think that it's okay to use a motherfucker to get what it is that they want versus somebody else that believes in a fucking start, a hard state of hard work or something like that, though, as well. Now, this could be finances. I'm just going to be honest with that six of pentacles because you may be dealing with somebody that may be a user and they don't want to pay people for what it is that they do. So you may be dealing with a grift or a miser. Y'all got two different perspectives on the state of a situation, though, as well. Somebody don't want to let this go. So I do feel like there is a challenge that may come up, though, as well, because if there is a relationship or a breakup, you could have broke up with somebody or you could have disengaged with somebody as a content creator, whoever this is. Somebody's not working with somebody because whoever this is in the Six of Pentacles, they abuse their power. Now, for some of y'all with the Six of Pentacles, I'm going to just keep it a bean. Somebody could have offered you something. This ain't very nice. Only to find out that the grass was not going on the other side. This was just some bullshit. It was some bullshit. Like, this could be like, um, like, it's like brown nose and a little bit, and then it's like brown nose, but then when it comes down to a form of position or something like that, though, somebody didn't get it. So this is where somebody may be coming back. Like, somebody was so arrogant, they was in their ego, and they felt like, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this, only for them not to get it. And so that reality is crumbling down for somebody that was well. So this might be somebody that was a little egotistical, walk around here talking a whole lot of shit and stuff like that, that was well. And whoever this is that was walking around here talking a whole lot of shit, they reality came crumbling down real fast. So this somebody that like, the words came back to bite them in their ass. Whoever this is, they words, the things that it is that they said came back to bite them in their ass real quick. Because we got four of swords, the page of swords. We also got the four of cups. We also got the two of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and also the king of swords. You got a doppelganger on your hand. Whoever this is, your doppelganger, or whoever this person is, they think that you got the blueprint to success. Or whoever this is, think that somebody has the blueprint to success. And they trying to copy you down. And whoever this is, they know they wrong. They know they ain't paying you. They know they're not giving something. And again, whoever this is, they obsessed with greed. And whoever this is, this don't get them caught up in a state of a situation. So this is where this victim blaming situation may come into a state of a situation because this is a matter where they feel like they're down right to 
happy with themselves or certain people or people don't feed into them or nourish them like they should anymore. So again, this is somebody else that keep up a whole lot of shit. I'm going to just keep it a bang. This may be somebody that even go off and try to talk a whole lot of shit about you when it comes down to... um a lot of situations because this person not getting the things that it is that they want. You may be dealing with that person. Again, like this somebody that's comes to trying to humiliate somebody or put somebody on blast or uh trying to make it seem like somebody doesn't have like the the social equanimity, somebody's not smart, whatever fuck it is. Like somebody keep doing this shit to somebody though as well or keep trying to plan this only for that motherfucker to be like like say for you was hanging around somebody or a group of people, it was like three friends of y'all, and you was hanging with some people and they do this, you said, nah, fuck off, we're gonna go do my own shit or something like that, though as well. And whoever this is that keep up this same state of behavior that's very brassy, condescending, or just like shocked with their words or like to do fucked up shit or play mind games with people. This person may be mad because this may be somebody that may be mad that they didn't invest in you. Whoever this is, somebody may be mad that they didn't invest in you. So now or something like that though as well because they did not invest in you. Like this person was so busy on trying to triumph you. I'm just gonna be honest. Maybe like somebody that see your work because we got the King of Cups and we also got the Four of Swords to join together. So again, this may have some y'all. I'm gonna keep it a bit. This may have broke your trust between you and some people though as well. This may have went on in your love life though too. Some y'all, you may be somebody may be restoring the faith for you, or you may be restoring the faith for your when it comes down to a situation though as well. I just keep hearing you ain't going to tie me down. Whoever it is that want to be in a relationship, why do you want to be in a relationship but at the same time, though, you keep concealing your intentions? How the hell somebody going to know if you want to be with them but at the same time, though, you like to play a whole lot of mind games? What the fuck is this? Like, does that make sense? Like, yeah, I can see if you like, we ain't going to post on the gram or some shit like that, though, as well. But, baby, I don't want to go on the challenge. I ain't signing up for the fucking war. Who is this? Like, this is fucking war-minded. I don't want this shit. Like, for real. Look, we got three of wands, the nine of swords, the three of pentacles, the ace of swords, the three of swords, the two of wands, and also the moon. That's why I said this somebody want to come back. I'm going to be honest. This feel like a love bomber, bitch. Oh, love. This person feel like a love bomber. Because with that three of wands, that three of pentacles, like this could be somebody that tried to take your ideas and go off and try to get something and they didn't get it and they didn't get accepted. So this somebody that's trying to come back and like sneaky link partner with you, put you in a deal and cover up certain shit though as well. I'm going to just keep being somebody trying to put somebody in a contract or a deal and they lying about the shit what it is that they trying to do. This might be somebody that's trying to establish some long partnership or wealth and this somebody that may snake you. So there's a four of swords. So you got the truth. Somebody coming forward saying, yeah, I want to work with you. I want to work with you. With that three of swords, that person may betray you. <clears throat> like, they may betray you, though, as well. This person may keep it hidden. But for some of y'all, I'm going to keep it vain. It's like I grew to love you, but I used to hate you or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all got those type of relationships. And then somebody grew to love you, but at the same time, they used to hate you. And then, two, this is a lover that low-key betrayed you. They could have talked about you behind your back, or they could have just stabbed you. Like, whoever this is, for some of y'all, somebody, like, did some binding work on you, especially around your heart. Like, somebody tried to do that, though, as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody tried to bind your heart up. I told you. Look at this. <clears throat> Sometimes the doppelganger is you. So, again, this may be you out here perpetrating, but you do got a doppelganger in this bitch. Trying to pretend to be something that it is that you not. Ugh. But some of y'all, y'all do got somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, I said, look, mm -hmm. I told you, I love betrayed you. Didn't I say that in the reading, though, shut up, work, work on you? Then I said, whoever said they did shut up, work on somebody, one of them readings, I said, so you wouldn't ask for shit, so you wouldn't say shit and stuff like that, though, as well, so somebody try to fit a narrative to make somebody look like that. Mm-hmm. Now, let's go with this love bomb. Yep, this somebody tried to play on your heart and stuff like that, though, and cause some state of problems, though, as well. This somebody didn't want you to ask for certain things and make you happy, though. Somebody also been playing with spirits, necromancy, trying to summon somebody's ancestors, though, as well. And, they, and your ancestors has been rejecting them, while also their guys are also rejecting them. So this somebody's been playing with a whole lot of magic and also sex magic effects. This is somebody that tried to be friends with you, though, as well, but you did not want to be friends with them, though, as well. It said, watch your words. Something can't be taken back. So, again, if you said something to this person, they took it all out of context and they ran with it and they took it with other people. So, yep, you may have recognized that this is a karmic relationship. So, what you put in is what you get out. So, what somebody did to you, you got it back, right? Whoever this is, though, could be an Aquarius. 
like this could be an Aquarius or somebody else though as well they owe you an apology or somebody owes you an apology at this date and time and they lying about it too well you got a liar and a crush Ooh, they lying somebody got a liar a crush mm, ain't y'all mama messy somebody mama messy as hell somebody mama messy as hell and stuff like that though as well Ooh. I knew that. That's why I said this somebody that lied. Some of y'all dealing with a spiritual narcissist. This is somebody that blow out other people candles. Some of y'all may be dealing with a healer who only do shit for clout. It's always what you can do for me. I remove this hex. I remove this curse. I remove this only if you do this for me. Right? And whoever this is, they're trying to get you caught up on to something, or this person may be a drug addict, or they may be trying to get you on drugs. Whoever this is, though, as well. They a drug addict, or you on drugs, or something like that, though, as well. For some of y'all, y'all kids may be coming home. They may be getting sober or something like that, though, and this may be this person or something like that, though. So you might not know your crush was sneaking and geeking and shit like that, though, as well. So your crush may be around this time, though, as well, and they trying to get sober at this point in time. So your... I don't know what type of drugs they was on, but they was on a little something, something, and they trying to heal and shit like that, though, as well, and I ain't telling you. Now, we also got the Queen of Swords and Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, uh, ooh this was gossip and lies that somebody said about you, though, as well. They went around spreading your business and saying this about you, though, as well. Somebody give me up. Because Black Sheep of the Family Head came out, though, as well, so this could be somebody that's constantly trying to blame you for something, though, as well. So, again, some things that's going on. Your family may be still trying to blame you, or there's a particular person they keep trying to bring up the same shit though as well with this five of cups and this two of swords. They keep bringing up mess. They keep bringing up drama. This is somebody that likes to target somebody else so they can um, not be called out. Like again, because we got the ace of swords, we also got the seven of pentacles. This is somebody that don't want to be called out when it comes down to certain situations though as well. Like this could be somebody that's saying you doing this and you doing this, but they really the criminal. Like they really the murderer. Like this kind of like being in a room with the murderer and somebody saying this about you like a bitch you the murderer like that's that person like some of y'all dealing with somebody who is like that with somebody sitting up shit talking to you and they saying all these particular things about you but it's really them like people didn't know this because they don't know this that they had that was hidden but some of y'all you can tell in their tone or the way that they talk or their body and stuff like that was weird that something is going on or something antsy or something is always up but some of y'all you may have didn't have patience to get to know the truth or get to know something or find out something at this same time though as well because it's something about this person they aggravate whoever this is they aggravate <laughs> Like, it's aggravating when it comes down to certain situations because you got four of pentacles, the knight of wands, the hangman, the knight of pentacles in reverse, the knight of swords, and also the chariot. That's why I said it's something about this person that aggravating. You know that. Because, again, like, I'm going to just keep it mean. Some of y'all got set up with the police. Somebody set you up with the police, so you set somebody up with the police. Or for some of y'all, though, as well, when it comes down to, I'm going to just like, this give me just a little bit, though. Like, you know, you got a teenager and they go out and they bump your car, and you like, how this happened on my car? Your kid did it, and they may be lying about it. They lying about it. So if something happened to your car, something like that, that was where your child, your teenager, somebody may have took somebody's car or beat you was involved in it or something like that, that was where. So this is not somebody that doesn't want to be responsible for a fender bender or something like that, that was where when it comes down to a car wreck or this could be driving under influence or altercation or whatever fuck this is. Like somebody doesn't want to be responsible for certain shit, that was where. For some of y'all, there could be an argument or altercation or something like that going on and somebody doesn't want to call the police and they don't want to get the police involved. Some of y'all got some charges or something like that, though, trumped up on somebody, but at the same time, you don't want, they want you to let it go, but you don't know if you want to go forward. Like, you're still contemplating when it comes down to a situation, though, as well. On the flip side here, though, some of y'all may be dealing with somebody who could be taking a test or studying a test. Like, it's like somebody want to be a... Um, police officer, somebody trying to be a police officer, some of the police or something like that, though, as well, somebody could be studying and take the test. It's something like that, though, going on. Like, this is idea or a dream for somebody, and somebody may be keeping this hidden at this state and time, or you work with them motherfuckers on the cover, shit, we don't know that. I just blew it, so again, mm -hmm. you a Virgo, don't watch this. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, somebody may work with the police or something like that, though, as well, or something with the police, though. I don't know. It's something that's going on. But there is definitely some charges that's being drawn up on somebody. Somebody don't know if they want to go forward with it and they don't know how to handle it. 
when it comes down to a state of a situation, but there is a problem, there is an altercation or something that's going on at the same time. So again, if you know you're dealing with somebody that, uh, some of y'all may be dealing with somebody that's very sensitive and they take everything personal. So whatever the fuck you may say to them, this may cause this person to react like in a dark, fucked up, dreary way. But again, it's not your responsibility to be responsible for their emotions. So again, this is a matter where they got to grow up. Like I'm just going to be honest, somebody got to grow up though, because well, this mighty person this dick can be a very sensitive person, right? So again, I don't know. Like I'm gonna just keep it a bean. Somebody tried to hold you back from going in love. Somebody didn't want you to go forward into relationships. Somebody didn't want you to be happy. So somebody is lying about that shit though as well. With the hangman too though as well. Somebody gonna get caught mid act doing something. I just keep getting that though. Somebody gonna get caught mid act. This could be um like sexual assault. If it's not sexual assault or as well, this could be a crime committed. Like say for instance, like um this could be stealing money out your bank account or um it's funds being transferred, funds being wired, or stealing something out your purse, whatever the fuck it is. Somebody gonna get caught mid act doing something. They're gonna act like they didn't do it. Whoever this is that act like they so sensitive where you keep trying to talk to them about a state of a situation. Um, this is where shit gonna spiral out of control. This is where somebody may try to get up and try to fight you or pop off or something like that though as well. And you're gonna be like, What the hell? How did we get here though as well? Because whoever this is, you may be dealing with somebody that's hyperly sensitive, but they insensitive to other people. Like you're dealing with a person who's like that, like they don't care. The Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords, this and me, me syndrome. Somebody is always worried about themselves though as well. So they will take advantage of whoever, however, to get the things that it is that they want. For some of y'all, this is somebody that's very sneaky and they don't think they're um they don't think people see them, but they really do. And whoever this is, they sit back in the cut and they wait on a chance to see how can they in, like insert themselves into your life though as well. But again, there may be another sword to me, because they're one looking like another sword. I'm going to just keep it a bean. Like, look, we got queen. I'm telling you, that's another sword. Whoever this is, a stick you in your damn bag. This is somebody who you're always in competition with and you always argue with. With this queen of cups, they may come off like they're very mature. They're level-headed and grounded when it comes down to a state of a situation. This may be somebody that put on for a show when they get around certain people and stuff like that, though, as well. So they may act like they highly mature, but they really not mature. But behind closed doors, she's a raging bitch. Now, we also got two of pentacles, the king of pentacles, and reverse the strength card and the high priestess. I said that, though, somebody can't ever lose a state of a situation like this somebody that's like like crushing cans or alfalfa or something like that though how dare she beats me out like whoever this person is like they could be very mad when it comes down to a lot of situations though when again if you put this person on blast like this could be somebody like i'm gonna keep it being this person do so much shit to where uh when they try to get the limelight or say the success that if you do push them in the limelight they get mad and say why are you doing it like it's bitch you're good at it. Like, so again, like, you can't win with whoever this is, though, as well. And who is all these people that's going to this fake priest? Who is all these people that's going to this fake priest? Give me all out of y'all money at the same time. Like, some of y'all are getting scammed like a motherfucker. Whoever this is, like, y'all getting scammed and robbed and fucked out y'all motherfucking money at the same time, though, as well. Baby, y'all need to do some shadow work because that's how the hell y'all all attracted to whoever this is on this frequency. Either y'all all hiding something that it is that y'all don't want people to know or y'all don't want to be seen. Either you have a high money, you have a high ego, you have a high spirituality, you have a high sex. This is an identity that some of y'all identify as, and this is how all y'all got got. Like, I'm just going to be honest, like... This is a fucking cold. The fuck? Like, what is this? A fucking cold in this bitch? Like, get out. Like, does that make sense? It's a fucking cold. Hey, yeah, that's what I said. The shit to come up to the fru fruition, or shit to come up to the forefront, though, as well. Y'all still don't want to change it. It's like things are coming up for you to change, but it's like somebody don't want to let it go with this death card being in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to let a lot of things go. Somebody's still doing burial rituals and death rituals on somebody. Oh, well, bye. But whoever this is, somebody doesn't want to let that go. Now, there could be family arguments and stuff like that, though, as well, when it comes down to last will and testaments, because there's an argument when it comes down to a state of money or something like that, though, as well. Somehow, you may got family members that may be mad that you reach your peak, or somebody came into peak, or they came into some state of success, money, fortune, whatever the fuck it is. Somebody's mad about that, though, as well, because somebody reached some state of acclimates before them or something like that, though, so somebody in heavy competition with somebody. And then, two, it's like there's a problem when it comes down to family matters like somebody may be hiding the reason why somebody died like this give me like y'all sit around the table and somebody passed 
and somebody said, boom, because they died because of this. Like, does it make sense? And it's like a big family secret or something like that, though. Like, y'all got, like, a lot of problems going on around that, though, as well. This could be about a father figure, a masculine, whoever this is. It's a lot of problems that's going around there. Put it on the table. Like, for real. We got the Seven of Cups, the Magician, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and also the Ten of Cups. Sexuality or masculine their sexuality some of y'all y'all don't want to heal something this came up in libra where some of y'all didn't want to heal something with your father figure because your father figure had strong beliefs about homosexuality and stuff like that though as well so one minute y'all good then one minute y'all ain't and then y'all fall the fuck back out because they like certain things that they like so this could be in the state of to where somebody like why you gotta come around me with all that gay shit like, some of y'all got parents who like that, though, as well, to where they don't want you to come around them, like, if you are, um, or, you know, elders or something like that, though, or a father figure. It's kind of like, uh, you can be a bottom, but you can't be, like, feminine. Like, that's, like, somebody got a thing for that. Like, you can't be feminine or something like that, though, as well. Like, it's like, why you coming around with all that gay shit or something like that, though? Like, they don't like that. They don't. Like, you got to be, like, mask. Or something like that, though. Baby, I'll be walking in the house. Hello, good darling. Don't send me out because I don't need you over there. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. These are just jokes. But some of y'all, this could be a problem, though, as well, because somebody could be covering up a state of their sexuality, and this may be causing them a whole lot of depression or grief or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all, certain family members know, but they act like they don't know. So <laughs> they act like they don't know just to make somebody else feel better. But again, I think there is a mask on or somebody uh, that is in masculine energy or something like that, though, that may be causing a whole lot of burdens. And then, too, there is a lot of trauma when it comes down to... Um, childhood that somebody may be covering up though as well some of y'all may find out that y'all got a father or uncle just to the molest and that motherfucker and there's something that y'all really don't talk about over there though as well so somebody really ain't healed from them childhood wounds so whoever this is though as well when it comes to being in the courage to step into the light somebody struggles with that when it comes down to a state of a situation so they'd rather go hang with people who blend in on the same they feel like they're the same when it comes down to certain situations though as well because they hide themselves they hide themselves like whoever said they hide themselves a lot they like to be in a shadow behind certain people though as well this may be somebody that thinks that they like people who are authoritative i can take it if it's up right this shit will work like the fuck like if it's up right it's cool like you can talk to a man for empower and position mm -mm. no it doesn't make sense no the fuck like, does that make sense? Somebody like, like, no, I like dominating, or you may be dominative, or I don't know. But some of y'all, y'all may like domination. That works for you. Not my business. I don't like that. Keep saying it. Call me if you want to pay me. Now, uh, we also got the four cups. We also got king of swords. We also got the ace of swords. That's why I said, yep. You regret talking about that shit. Like, I'm going to just keep it a bean. Like, oh, y'all just been confiding y'all little secrets into somebody. And this shit can't even confide y'all little bit. <laughs> Look at that four of cups. Because a mouse is supposed to talk. You got to space, though, as well, where you want to speak. But again, like, somebody try to rush through a lot of things where they want to get over it. But again, a lot of processes. It's like a lot of processes where it doesn't. For some of y'all, this could be somebody that don't like eye contact or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all may be dealing with somebody who's autistic or something like that, though. Don't have to be. But some of y'all dealing with somebody who doesn't like eye contact. Because, again, eye contact comes with a state of responsibility. And this may be the thing where somebody always like to avoid key core principles. So this somebody likes to swiggle between the lines and stuff like that, though, as well. Where they don't like to be responsible for certain shit when it comes down to things though as well. This may be also some things that goes on financially because some of y'all, y'all don't really want to address your father or something like that though as well. So you may have became him because some of y'all could have grew up poor. Like I'm going to just put that out on the table though as well because rice, to, mm, mm, mice, rice, rats. That's what the fuck I'm trying to say. This got something to do with financial issues or something like that, though, when it comes down to a state of wealth. Like, somebody didn't have everything that it is that they need, and this is the truth. So, again, somebody may have been very stern, strict, and stuff like that, though, as well, when they were growing up. Like, they had certain things that they need. Somebody had education, education, education. Doesn't make sense. So, some of y'all grew up with father figures, or y'all had father figures who were very educated. And so, whoever this is, uh, open your mouth. Like, stuff like that, though, is where we speak to me, boy. Whoever that is, like, God damn, I heard that from me. 
should just push his ass out of his wheelchair. Now we got <laughs> like for real, should have rolled his ass out. He's still living calmly, so I can push his ass down the hill. I'ma catch him. Like, I'ma catch him. Cause I don't want to get no neglect case. Well, now we got <laughs> some of y'all, y'all may have grew up in certain environments and stuff like that. Though as well, where a lot of people they are very analytical. You may have like had bumps in the road. Some of y'all may have had bumps in the road. I'm finna wrap this shit up, y'all. Some of y'all may have bumps in the road when it came down to certain male figures in your life that was well that didn't allow you to shine. Some of y'all had like certain masculines that like if you didn't fit in with them or you didn't do the things that it is that they need to do, they didn't allow you to shine those well. So this may be why this nigga may be a narc. I'm gonna just keep it a bean with you. Those cars ain't looking too nice. So again, this is other men that don't allow other men to sit at the table with them. So again, this could be like a father not embracing their child or a mother not embracing their daughter and stuff like that though as well. So they feel like that being strong is covering up certain shit or lying about certain shit or developing certain addictions. Now, we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. We also got the Wheel of Fortune, the Lover's Card, the Empress, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Ooh, who is this that's going to lose their job? Somebody lost their job because it ain't with mine, girl. Somebody lost their job about something that is they had going on. People didn't believe them, though, as well, when it came down to a situation with this person. And it's coming back on somebody with their three of wands. Somebody sold a lot of bad seeds. Some of y'all, like, this could be a feminine that's going around lying on another feminine, but it's like, with the empress, it could be a masculine. Somebody could be going around lying on somebody that was well, and this masculine may be going through a period where he was losing certain shit. Flip the roles, whoever this is, because Will of Fortune is in reverse. There's a feminine that kept up a whole lot of lies and brought up a whole lot of illusions into somebody's lives that was well, and this masculine could have lost a whole lot of shit because of this feminine. Now the roles is being reversed, though, as well, because if she is in a relationship or something like that, though, as well, now she's trying to pack up and get the hell out of Dodge, though, when it comes down to a lot of situations and milestones that she has created, though, as well. So this is where that stability, that love and light that you may used to get from somebody or you may used to think they were so nice, this bitch may be snooty in a bitch. Whoever this is, you thought they was, like, welcoming, they were honest, they were this, hell no. Nah. There's somebody that's going to pack up and get the hell on out of Dodge, though, as well, because everything it is that they had going on, baby, it was also a hoax. Now, again, I ain't going to say they weren't nice. They could have been nice, but, again, when they life starts shaking and that tree start coming the fuck down, no. And then some of y'all, y'all don't believe that was well, because if you got certain illness and y'all go to certain practitioners and stuff like that, that was well, they could have told you not to go off and marry somebody and get in a relationship with them, and your heart hit them. Recognizing that you procreated with the wrong person, where you could be at the point to where you could have experienced the same, you could be going through the same thing your daddy went through when you was a kid. Think about it. And look at you now. And then look at you. you may be going through the same shit that was your daddy went through. Y'all could have been not acknowledge the fact that y'all could be going through that though as well. Well, y'all don't. Y'all don't want to. Y'all don't. So again, this is where you are. So again, I don't know if somebody could be struggling with health issues. And they may be coming up to the forefront where somebody's supposed to um somebody may be struggling with health issues though was where they got them a whole lot of time that was where to self self-reflect and look back on certain things. Because with the time master, we also got the sacrifice, we also got the sorcerer and the serpent. Like this somebody, like I don't know. Like, some of y'all, this because I keep her as I look back over my life. Some of y'all dealing with a person that was so in their motherfucking ego. Yeah, whoever this is that felt like they was untouchable. Somebody had to turn around and put them in a fucked up situation where they was like, I'm going to do this magic on y'all. I'm going to put you in a fucked up situation. I'm going to try to do whatever the fuck this is to break you down or basically sell you off or sacrifice you or something like that. Though, with this sorceress, that this really just brought up a whole lot of pain for somebody that was. This could result to, into someone having some form of health issues. I don't know if this is blowback from a state of spell work or what somebody tried to do on somebody. That this didn't give somebody nothing but time because whoever this is, they was in a time loop. They kept going over the same shit over and over and over again. They was very militant-minded. They kept doing the same shit. It was the same perspective, the inability to be able to grow up. This is somebody that relives their glory days. Like the football players, the basketball players, them people that was in school. 
why you see the people get out of jail and stuff like that though as well it's like they relive their glory days and at the same time though as well this may be causing a lot of things with your health because again like this is tethered to certain things that you give up so again if you're not sacrificing anyone though as well this could be somebody that sits up and speak incantations over people all day and they say oh my throat hurt like does it make sense and it's kind of like well bitch all you do is speak negative over people. Like, does it make sense when it comes down to the incantations? Or, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. They give fake love. They go through heart sharpening blocks. Whoever this is, they did a lot of shit spiritually to manipulate a whole lot of things and manipulate a whole lot of people. This is where health issues resided into their bodies. For others, some of y'all know as well, you just had to be put up in a fucked up situation to where like the shit you say and the shit you do, like being caught up in a time loop, it really made your way. It self-reflect on your life. Because I'm saying this give me like a near-death experience. Hangman, death energy, um hangman it really give me that though as well like this is cycles that need to be completed in your life though as well and you have not some of y'all y'all ain't been going to the doctor for your follow-ups which i don't know why some of y'all have some of y'all ain't y'all keep lying about certain things though as well that's why your vision being fucked up though as well you ain't been doing the shit you need to do whoever's here somebody ain't been taking care of themselves your vision your health your money and everything got a whack. So again, somebody got to start getting their body together because if they don't get their body together, they ain't going to have no money. And whoever this is, and money is the motherfucking object, this may be causing somebody a whole bunch of stress. Can I get it back? Can I move forward? Can I do this? <laughs> whoever this is, like they sit back and they just constantly think about a lot of things and they life though as well because money has been a fucking motor to them though as well. So again, I'm going to keep it a bean. If you're doing any type of tarot or divination at the same time, but you're trying to foresee your fucking future, you may not be getting the messages that it is that you need because it's how it's stuck. Mm. I don't know. If you possibly murdered somebody before, I don't know if we're that deep in this conversation. So we're just going to ease on out. Let me go ahead and get this card. Is that my card I'm supposed to read? No. Thank you. Um, yeah, you got the child. Same thing. And you got upward. Uh, some of y'all may got a child that may be trying to connect with you though as well. And some of y'all may got a highly ascended soul that's in the state of a child. So somebody may be childlike or your child may be more wiser than you. So I'm going to just put that on the table. But getting back on the subject, if you have murdered somebody though, they may be showing up in your dreams. They may be showing up in your dreams. Somebody may be showing up in your dreams. So good luck with that. It could just be your dead lost loved ones. And you like, why the fuck they here? Mm -hmm. That's something you're supposed to go to somebody for. Be aware of short cuts in your life. Don't let pressure you on this one as well. Be especially mindful of things that are further than your expectations and your comfort zone. Time for gratitude, perseverance, and be prepared to work towards your goals and plan for the future because it's so important to stay focused. It's so easy to get lost in the world and to forget that I'm not there or you don't need someone else to help you when you fall. The most that you learn is always to find what feels good and allow it. Make it a part of you. For a deep place to fall, stay hard even if you do not fall well when you are trying to get a deep breath out. There's always a new seed you can begin. The Scorpio had that and Gemini reading was just like that though as well. It got one more that came out behind it though as well. So again, I said that y'all over there doing too much goddamn magic. Too much goddamn magic. Relax. Like this shit is aggravating. Baby, stop. Is it difficult for you to set limits on how much of yourself you give? If you give more than if you give more than is healthy, then you will not be able to give for long. You will feel resentful when your when your partner or associates, or you will feel like the world owes you something in return. Notice if you give for any reasons other than pure generosity. Are you trying to be liked or accepted? Are you hoping to heal an old wound? Start giving to yourself first and foremost. Offer yourself the care, the love, the time and acceptance that you are longing for once you experience plenty then you can truly give to others so again that goes back to that shit that's that entitlement you dealing with from somebody i'm supposed to get back here get back here and love me so good luck with that thank you oh i'm gonna upload this because it's my super